do it. What's going on, everyone? It's the Nerd Informer again. A great podcast on uh, secret societies today and uh, all the mysteries they have behind it and what we think about it. There's a lot of weird shit that happens in those fucking societies, dude. Freemasons, nice Templar. You get all of them. I can already see the smile on your face, Ian. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Nice Templar is the coolest one that, I, that I've looked they're, at. They're pretty much the ones that started the secret society, right? Basically. Like overall, they, start, they were the first ones. That was the first one that I could find. And they were founded in 1119 in Jerusalem. And they were like medieval Green Berets. Yeah. Like they were just... You know, medieval badasses. Badasses. <clears throat> they. Uh, it's, hold on a second. Let me see. If, oh, where'd it go? What did I lose? You know what? You think I'd be prepared for? Lost shit. everything. <laughs> Lost his train of thought. Or what oh, you, you know what? Before we even talk about this, I was gonna say right. I missed the perfect opportunity last week when your when your mic went out the other day. I missed the perfect opportunity because you couldn't say nothing. I could have just said whatever I wanted to. I heard everything you were saying. It sucked. I know. And I could see you like frantically trying to figure out what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> and I was gonna, I was gonna be like, what what about flat earth? Oh, 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 you agree with flat earth now. Just start, no, just, just say no. a bunch of random shit that would make you should have done it. I, I didn't think about it until after I was done. I was like, damn it, I missed the perfect opportunity. Uh, been like, what been like, what would you say? Apple sucks? It looks like you're mouthing Apple sucks. <laughs> I would have just ended the call right then I would... uh, out of a rage. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for you to do is just end it. I'm like, don't end it yet. Don't end it yet. <laughs> Originally, yeah. I didn't know if you could hear me or not. So I was like, I don't know. Did, did, you know, did it oh, even I could. Recording. Because yeah. the thing kept saying, it, it still said recording, but it didn't. I it didn't was... know if you could hear me. I don't know why I was doing that. I kept saying that my mic wasn't plugged in when it clearly was. So it went out and then I could hear, but like my mic's plugged in with my headphones. So obviously it's plugged in if I'm hearing you, but yeah, I lost all, all mic out of that. If it happens again, we're going to learn a lot about you. I'll just instantly end the call. <laughs> It'd be an instant. An instant you end. son of a bitch. <laughs> you would. Oh, oh God, that was funny. But. Nights I was telling there. Jamie about it today, like all the ideas that I had after we got after we ended it. I'm like, man, you should have just I, pulled the trigger. I know. <laughs> I wish I would have thought about it in time. I don't think it'll ever happen again, but if it does, I'll be prepared. <laughs> Finger on the end button. Just come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'll come just, on. Pre- I'll just pretend like I can hear you because I'll see your lips moving. Yep, <laughs> and I'll just start talking shit. Hell no. Oh god, that'd have been great. That'd have been a fun time. That'd have been great. But I hate that stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna remember this. I, f- I feel like maybe you. I feel like maybe you are. I don't know. But the reason that you, you think that can't just Android slip in one is superior day. is just a joke. Because it is. I mean, no man, Android is not <laughs> superior. Trust me. Uh, I had a Bluetooth I mean, picture today from John, and he has an Apple. I'm like, well, like, I guess this is going to take a while. <laughs> when we're like golfing or something, I'm on my phone. It's very quick swipes. I look at yours. Yours is like glitching to try to go left or right <laughs> because it's trying to load. I'm like, you ah, son of a bitch. I don't miss that one bit. <laughs> Maybe September like 2012. You don't even. You don't even have. You don't even have service half the time when we're when you get your phone out. Weird. I have full bars right now. It's so weird. And you and it still doesn't work it's half right. the time. It's all right. Oh, man. It's all right. <laughs> at least I don't build phones. If you look at them, they just get destroyed. It happens every time. I was like, dude, is this like your third phone this week? Well, fourth. Fourth <laughs> phone. I'm like, what the hell is happening? <coughs> I, shut, I shut it too hard. It was like the lightest. The lightest. All right. The, the flip phone's not exactly the greatest invention ever made, but I mean, as far as durability, but it worked great. It's like the last time I had well, an Android didn't. phone, so they all sucked. <laughs> well, now you just regressed so far that you went back to Apple, so nah. you just went back to the beginning and said, screw When it. everything can go onto a cloud and I have it on anything, it's so much better. Uh, you can't make a phone call. <sighs> That's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> So you're pulling these stories that aren't true. 
That's all right. Sometimes you have to go to that place with those jabs. It's so, you're so emotional about your oh, apple. It's all right, bro. No, I'm actually pretty happy that I have one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, I feel sorry for you. You I'm lasted about one day with yours. <laughs> I did. And it was god awful. I'm like, I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I gave you a day. Maybe two days. No, a day. That's all right. Every time I try to go back, the whole it just, it just starts at the beginning. I'm like, I remember what? that one time I had to go to your house because of you didn't know what the HDMI cord was. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm gonna pull those out. Yep. I'm gonna pull those stories out. Ian, it's like three in the morning. What are you trying to do? <laughs> three in the morning. Oh, what are you doing at three a.m. with your HDMI cable? And yeah, that's what I want to know. But you know, nothing. I, why? I, I, I drove over. Nothing. Why? What'd you hear? I drove over. <laughs> oh man, this right. guy. Sorry. Right, are we supposed? Are we supposed to be doing something today? I thought so. We can take jabs at each other. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> see how bad. See how bad we can go. I know you can go. I know you can see pretty low, so I don't want to. <laughs> It's not gonna happen. Oh man, not today. At least Did not you send all this. your family Valentine stuff so that they know that you I love just... them and care. <laughs> oh man, I didn't oh. know you were gonna. Go. I didn't know you were gonna go that far. <laughs> but you just did. It's Valentine's Day, bro. Come on. Oh man, people need to know you love them. Exactly. Oh, Christ. I can make up some made-up stories. <laughs> I can do whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you know. oh, man. That's, that's for another time. You're right. Let's wait till the book is done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't wait to review that book. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a mass. I shouldn't say masterpiece. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Be rude. You say it was a mess or a masterpiece? Both. <laughs> Definitely both. It's like this podcast. It's a total mess. Oh, God. Exactly. So you can oh, yeah. get what you were saying with the Knights Templar. Oh, okay. That's what we were doing. <laughs> That's why we keep you around. You keep us on track and Knight, I say dumb shit. Knight Temp the Knights Templar were pretty fucking badass people. Oh. They they if the priest what the hell was that noise? I don't know. My computer does things and I just let it happen. But the it's pretty much like the priest and the kings were pretty much trying to get the Knights Templar out of power because they were so rich, they couldn't afford anything. Well, it's funny, be, it's funny because when they first started out, like part of their... <clears throat> um, let's see here. Just well, they, they started out in the Champagne region. Right. Which was like close to uh, like 150 miles off of Paris. So the Knights Templar, a religious military order during the Crusades, founded in 1119 in Jerusalem, lived like monks and fought <clears throat> like medieval green berets. They were suited and booted in black or white robes, bearing a red cross, pointy laced up shoes were forbidden as pagan fashion. Their discipl discipl disciplinary. <laughs> he does have problems it's a, pronouncing <laughs> long words more than four syllables. I feel like you were reading this. Their disciplinary code involved hundreds of rules of disobedience punished by flogging and and <clears throat> flogging or in order to eat meals on the floor with dogs. Jesus. Well, <laughs> flogging. I want to get flogged. I never heard that know. name. To eat meals on the floor. heard of fluffer, dog. but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just... Listen, it was you know, a bad you, weekend. You know, it was a bad weekend. It. It, was a, it was a bad weekend in Vegas, and I lost some money, and, you know. Yep. I had yeah. to get home. What he are you ended, gonna do? He ended up on a couple of shoots. That's all I want to say. <laughs> oh man, oh, man. <laughs> you're a sick individual. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, this is how this is going today, people. So yeah, exactly. You, you got to make a choice right I, now. You're gonna ride. I this got out back or... at the Valentine's Day cards. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna have to ride this out or just stop listening now because it's probably not going to get any better. <laughs> Every single person turns it off at that point. <laughs> I would not be surprised. They didn't make it past 11 minutes. What happened? Exactly. Uh, anyway, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the flogging <laughs> and them eating by uh, fluffing or ordered to eat meals on the floor with dogs. <laughs> Well, that would be a bad idea. I mean, unless their food's all over the ground and they have to eat it like an animal. Like you know there's no mean? plate, they just throw it right on the right I, on the ground. You never know. Oh, you would eat it at that time. And if, if you're hungry, <laughs> you're gonna eat it. And it and it would be the best food you ever had. <laughs> yeah, it probably it's the best. It's the best meal I ever had. You got to try it. I swear. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <clears throat> all right. But isn't it strange that like the Knights Templar had so much? A treasure in gold that it's really never been found. They so found that's the weird. Coins. So that's 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 the weird thing. So while they were founded to protect Christ, <clears throat> Christian pilgrims to the that doesn't make any sense. While they were founded to protect Jesus Christ, it's like I'm illiterate. Yeah, dude, you can't. You, do you have to. <laughs> how does this happen? How do you go from being able to read anything to not being able to read anything? It, and well, let's start with syllables. Okay. <laughs> T- t- to the the <laughs> come on all right all right hold on. i'm gonna get i'm gonna get through this bear with me it's okay <laughs> while they were founded to protect christian pilgrims to the holy land they also operated a bank and some despised their wealth and influence they're just yeah despised their wealth and influence french king philip the fourth accused the knights of having secret homoerotic I don't know sounds like you him now. <laughs> makes a lot of sense why this is the first thing that sounds pops like into you your mind. <laughs> man induction ceremonies and worshiping statues trumped up charges that led to their demise mexican gr- drug cartel los cal yeah right some mexican drug cartel models itself on the nights mimicking Actually, they had the cartels medieval- back back then uh, you know yeah. what I mean? They considered them yeah. a cartel. Did they call them cartels? Well, it's weird because they were supposed to give up like all of their worldly possessions and and yeah and like you know live poor and whatever. But they had banks and all kinds of shit. You know what I mean? Like the, oh yeah, they dude. were the they were the sole place to get to like move your money around if you were a pilgrim at the time. Oh yeah, or if you were a Christian and. And they had like underground fucking tunnels and like multiple fucking safe houses. Well, have you ever watched uh, Oak Island? The, the history. Oh, of Oak I, I used to watch it all the time. Like, yeah, like that's the they one think thing. Like that treasure is. They think there's a treasure on Oak Island, which is off Nova Scotia in Canada. They think there's I, a treasure on it, and they think that it's a Knights Templar treasure. It just like I understand it because like they see like they have like printouts and drawings of like the cave system they have for like are you gonna start yawning already that was like a half yawn so we're getting there <laughs> um where the water that was a warm-up like, yawn exactly um well in that show Oak Island, they show like how there's like you'd say like trap doors and shit going down this fucking tunnel right yeah but like i don't think it was there um, um well there's I th- still i think if there was something there it's gone by now because they've done so much extensive searching on that island and they and they make it like they find like a nail and they're like um, this yeah. is what's making the show right here well part of it they're trying like, to figure out what happened on that island because they think that it was a shipping port kind of yeah where boats would come in and unload stuff or or whatever so they don't know they think that they found like a big wharf where big where big boats would would uh dock then they found like all of the uh like the rigging for yeah. big big boats and stuff like that. Like they found all that stuff on this island and they think that obviously the treasure myth like 200 years old. So oh. there's been president uh president Truman, I think, was actually on that island like hunting for hunting for the gold. They had like a whole he had like a whole team. Ultimately, with- everyone's looking for like the holy grail. <clears throat> but yeah, it, it, you know they think I mean? that it might be the holy grail or um uh, the covenant um the ark of the covenant yep, yep or some of the manuscripts of um god what the hell william shakespeare yeah. like some of those manuscripts and stuff but i'm like why would you hide manuscripts and stuff like that in and mud. booby trap it with water because you know yeah. over 200 years i don't care what it's in 
anything that was 200 years ago that it ain't going to be in the same shape. it ain't going to be yeah it's going to be destroyed so why would you want to flood it doesn't make any sense i i think it's like a lost pipe dream about that one like probably okay, there is a yawn um but like if how many seasons have they done in that show and they have like eight i think they're on like eight or nine that's years <laughs> yeah that's, that's many yeah. that's a lot of years to fucking like when do you when do you call it like well i fucked up mm-hmm. like, i guess when history stops cutting checks <laughs> uh yeah dude. i mean i'll keep digging holes you're gonna keep paying me dog huh? <laughs> exactly because there's got to be that drama in there <laughs> Right. Okay, who's losing an arm this this season? Uh, right. I, mean, I lose a pinky. Keep it going. You know what I mean? We need like, those ratings to bump up. But you know the fun the, the funny thing about like secret societies and stuff is most of them started in Europe. Yeah. And they they sprang up in to train revolutionaries. Like the whole idea was to train revolutionaries and and spread their ideas. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So. I, would you join the knights templar back then mm, i think i would i think you would have to if you if you could just because i mean i probably would because a you're gonna eat you know what i mean like it, um, back then you could hey, go to hey, burger king and, <laughs> hey like, well uh i won that bet by the way what happened i told you 15 minutes told well, we just, you sorry just i had to just interrupt to- he said he just had two black screens, is what he just sent me. <laughs> this is my whole. I was on a roll and everything. Man, I'm All sorry, right. but I, <laughs> he's asking the game. <laughs> I fucking told you, dude. Uh, good thing. Sorry, there's a, there's a small bet that we had there. Uh, um, so to get back on thought, I kind of just ruined that one. I had to do it though. It was like a perfect opportunity to like told you, <laughs> told you. So okay, oh, like back to so the, being like the Knights Templar. Like if you were against it, were they going? They weren't going to necessarily kill you, were they? Um, Depending? I, I don't know if they would actually kill you. I don't know. I don't and know like when you get that. into like the Knights Templar and like um, Freemasons, all that, like you can't. You can't just join. You have to be picked and become. They they're gonna make you a member by asking you. You can never ask. I didn't know that. Did you? So like. Not... So nowadays to be, to be like a knight, you mean? To be like in the Freemasons or like the Knights Temple, like you would literally have to be chosen. Yes, yes, from yes. them to be even like the Freemasons and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know to that. be like an yeah. apprentice, and then it goes into uh, you know all that, but. So in 1139, uh, Pope Innocent II, never heard of him, issued a papal a papal bull exempting them from paying taxes. <laughs> I caught I'm that. Just, I'm just making words up and shit, <laughs> and decreeing that. <laughs> that I'm pretty sure always... you're having an aneurysm right now. <laughs> what what does stroke feel like? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen, these are hard words. Shut up. I was only joking. <laughs> had we, uh, had <laughs> to cat. Um, exactly. <laughs> no, it'd be oh, better. You for, uh, uh, it's the. It's the Ian. <laughs> the. Oh, see it. Oh yeah, I hate you. Uh, so at the God, this is just it's gonna be the worst. Secret and his name was actually named King Philip the Beautiful, they called him. Isn't that weird? Uh, Same guy, King there. Philip. Philip. They call him Philip the Beautiful. So at the apex of their power, the Knights Templar owned, an, uh, owned the island of Cyprus. Hmm, I didn't know that. Yeah. And a fleet of ships and lent money to kings, but not all kings were happy customers. Oh, yeah. It says uh, Philip the Beautiful forged a plan to destroy the Templars. He was done with them. And on October 13th, it says Philip restored the residency and arrested all the knights. And mm-hmm. that day has gone down as Black Friday. I had, yep. no, I had no idea. I heard about that. Because it's unlucky. And then um, under pressure from the French crown, Pope Clement V formally dissolved the order in 1312 and redistributed, redistributed their wealth 
Rumors that the Knights Templar guarded artifacts like the Holy Grail and Shroud of Turin begin bubbling up among conspiracy theorists. Popular books and films like the Da Vinci Code continue to inspire curiosity about the Knights Templar today. It's fucking awesome, dude. I think I think those films, like <clears throat> Angels so you, and Demons, So you know they had a bunch of money, right? So you don't just... They had more love. And, had and more. that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to get to the new world, basically, or trying yep. to get over this way to yeah. and bring their shit with them. And they so were they could, they're, they're, they had more money than kings. They had more money than all yeah. of them. They could have done whatever they wanted. So that's when they fucking had to work together and take them down. Just take them out. But honestly, I think that was like a, the most one of the most badass times seeing like stories about the Knights Templar. Would you like uh, to live back then? I totally would. Totally. I mean, you're only going to live to you're about 30 and then you're probably going to die. <laughs> because, polio or you got... Uh, yeah. Right. I mean, that's before polio probably. That's fucking way back then. Imagine if but, you only ate plain food. I know. Well, I mean... <laughs> I was just throwing no, no, a pun out there. It's one of those things like there's no... I was just talking about... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have an open palate. Now. You know, you, you get what you get. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know what they're eating back then, but it's probably not fucking... Probably Say they're eating close to their dogs. There's not a lot of fat people back then that you see because they're, they're not really. <laughs> oh god, this guy. Oh man, I'm just throwing jabs any way I can. Just throwing a roll. <laughs> just just slinging it. I don't know what you started. Okay, you just whatever you said in the beginning of this podcast just really hit home. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man. This is. Uh... <laughs> We're, we're going to do another great. secret society one eventually. So, but we, what else we can, can we really do talk it on? About it. Like, it, it, like we, because we can talk a little bit about well, the Knights Templar and like the Freemasons, but like Freemasons that, are, the, are the cool ones that I, that it's that I like. yeah, pretty fucking crazy knowing that now, like reading about it and listening about it. Um, they fucking their doors are wide open now, like in London, like right, right, right where Freemasons originated. That's where they came well, from. They, I saw a documentary where they talked about it and they they have like one guy that's kind of in charge and he yeah. will do like, like interviews and stuff like that, but he doesn't really re- reveal very much. Like he won't tell you very much about it. You know what I mean? He keeps uh, everything very cryptic, you know? Want, yeah, they, they seem like they're very open though. Like people could go in there and see everything, the history about it, but like, yeah, not much more. But well, the, like the camera crews, the, and... the public history, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's only you know, people talk about secret societies, like they exist, they're real, like there yeah. are these, you know, these things do exist. Now, what their motives are, that's that's where things get like, you know, oh, crazy. Yeah, dude. Is, is it are they trying to take over the world or are they now with the Freemasons? The Freemasons are. They kind of want to take over the world. It sounds like, <laughs> like pretty much, like just make it a one-world government where they control. That's it. that's what they want. They want a they want a one-world government, and I could see that try, them trying to do it today. You know what I mean? Well, like, and that's what people talk about. Like you know, when they did the shutdown from COVID and stuff like that, and you know, they were that's what a lot of conspiracy conspiracy theorists theorize that that is like a, a dry run. You know what yeah. I mean? To like see how to see how the well the world would react and how you know to a shutdown and control and stuff like that. So there's there's and five... obviously it worked pretty well because um, I mean the majority of the Midwest and like out west they're all inside at all times. It seems yeah. like you know what I mean more than yeah. people down in the southern like, states. There's probably still people in like Chicago and stuff in California that are still. They're still locked down. You know what I mean? Like they, they wouldn't come out of the house still. <laughs> like yeah, or they just feel really uneasy about it when really it's just like yeah, right. I mean, there's a there's a subject on both sides <laughs> of it, but other than that, you're right. I mean, if they're doing a test on it, they could totally see like okay, we could push it a little bit further and make it work. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like I was, I, I saw one of these on the documentaries where, like their initiations, like how they do, like. It's just like any kind of initiation they're gonna scare mm. scare you but not hurt you in a way yeah yeah um there's a guy that was it was a failed shooting with william james um pretty much oh what was where was i at uh reported that there was surrounding by tin cans they made him kneel and put a blindfold on him mm-hmm. and this is coming from a news reporter and they put a blindfold on him and then they had a a gun with blanks in it and they would shoot it right and then hit one of the tin cans 
And then someone decided to pull out a loaded gun and put one right in his head. Fucking killed him. <laughs> they so like, got you. <laughs> imagine if that wasn't out there and how many right. times they got away with it or how many times they're doing something else like that. So, the, so with the Freemasons. That was Freemason. Yeah. Freemason. So their beliefs is so basically Freemasonry, Freemasonry is not a religion. Though mm-hmm. members are encouraged to believe in a supreme being or grand architect of the universe. Masonic temples and secret rituals have brought them into conflict with the Catholic Church. The church first condemned Freemason in, 19, in 1738 and has gone on to issue around 20 decrees against them. In 1985, Roman Catholic bishops restated over 200 years worth of these strict <clears throat> strictures in the face of... Come on, you can do it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> an increased number of Catholics joining the order. So now all these Catholics are trying to join, you know what I mean? And the, the church doesn't like it. The church wasn't their only enemy. The secret, the secrecy of the Masons garnered such distrust in early America that it inspired America's first third party, the anti-Masonic party. Judge. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. So Freemasons exist today, and their public image has been greatly influenced by high-profile charity work of the Shriners, a yeah. subset of which we see all those, you know, you see them at parades and the little guys driving little cars around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A subset do you, of... Okay. Do you think they're doing shady shit behind our back? Um, you know what I mean? Feel like, I feel like they started out trying to do that, mm-hmm. and I don't know, they realized that it wasn't <laughs> quite possible, maybe, and now... I but guess maybe, next, I next week we're like they're really nice guys. We're third <laughs> third master rank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know about they're you, but I'm, I'm a third. I'm a, I'm a third. Uh, whatever it is. <laughs> it goes from uh, uh, it goes from like um, their first one for like Freemasons is uh, like an apprentice where they want you to like mask your emotions. They want you to yes. be motionless and you know yes. not say anything. Um, and then it works its way up from there, from going right. all the way up to master. But like, man, dude. A lot of those people I was reading and heard about it, um, they're all so old. Like all the people that you see, all, like all in the vests and all the medals and all that. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. there's not many. It, like they're the Freemasons numbers are declining because of like the new age doesn't want that shit. You know what I mean? Well, I think, gonna... of, I think a lot of this stuff's gonna go away with time because yeah. like the new generation, millennials, stuff like that, they're not in any of this stuff. Like they're not. They're just not in any of this shit. Simultaneously, we just see bullets hit our heads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking that I mean, out loud. I mean, I'm mean like, uh, Tyler, is your mic not working? Yeah, like, this, <laughs> what is that red dye? <laughs> What's that red dot flashing on your forehead? Exactly. <laughs> but dude, there's so uh, many documentaries to explain all of it. Oh, dude, nope. there's so much in the Freemasons because the Freemasons has such a wide grip on everything. Yeah. And they, they're into every, you know, if you believe it, they're into everything. Like they're yeah. into every higher power, every yeah, branch okay. of government. Um, all you, the, the they, whole they go to the meeting in California, right? Do you think they would be like the ones to host it? Like, you know, um, with all the powerful people that go there. You got to think. Well, nice the Bilderbergs are. Yeah. The whole nother like new or new age type. I think that's one we need society. to get into because I don't know too, too much about it. So um, I actually know quite, a, well, I don't think quite a bit, but I've actually read a lot about them because they're interesting because they're like Bill Clinton and like younger oh, yeah. cats that, you know. I could say like Barack Obama. Yeah, exactly. You like know what I mean? presidents and stuff the like new that. New Age. Yeah. So the Shriners were founded by the Freemasons in 1870 at New York City's Knickerbocker College and continue their volunteer work today. So they're still around. I still see them, you know, on the holidays you and stuff. Gold star. How do you? <laughs> 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 I just had to throw another one. Sorry. That was for the iPhone. <laughs> well, don't order on your iPhone. It'll never come. Sorry. Right, Sorry. Right. <laughs> so how do you become a Freemason? So the rituals around becoming a Freemason are shrouded in secrecy, but have entered the public imagination in films and TVs and were even parodied on the episode of The Simpsons. Membership is open to all males over the age of 21 and, mm-hmm. and women can join an associated group known as the Order of the Eastern Star. According to the New York Times, aspiring members must ask to join and cannot be otherwise approached. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, 
That's as weird. Such, I didn't know that. So the yeah, they must ask to join and cannot be otherwise approached, as summed up in recruiting slogan. All you have to do is ask. Huh. It's interesting. Oh yeah. So Imagine famous being- Freemasons include Mozart, Winston Churchill, Davy Crockett, Franklin D. Roosevelt, John Wayne. Like they got some. They so, got some I, I imagine things. George Bush is like one of the ones that, like the first George Bush, he put his like in, how they're supposed to put their hand on the Bible and do yes. this and all that. He used the Freemason book. Same with George W. Bush, and right, so. a couple others. So we know that they're part of it. So the like the five like the skull and bones they are pretty high in like magazine or uh, magazines um, presidents and stuff like that. There's a lot of presidents that were skull and bone. Yeah, um, they're a whole nother society. But the Bilderbergs, so the Bilderbergs first meeting was in 1954 held at Hotel de Bilderberg in the Netherlands, from which the organization gets its name. Uh, coveted by. Pr- <clears throat> Prince Bernard of the Netherlands. It was gathered. It, it was gather. It was a gathering of powerful politicians from North America and Europe, designed to foster warmer relations relationships between the two uh, continents. Among fear of growing anti-Americanism in Europe. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Which while not strictly a secret society like the Illuminati or Freemasons, Bilderberg's high-profile attendees, previous guests have included Bill Clinton, Margaret Thatcher, Angela Merkel, Tony Blair, Henry Kissinger, and... <clears throat> don't they all she, worship an owl? And, like... Um, you know what I mean? Know that's the, the one that... Those yeah. are the... That's the one that's in... That's the one that's in... Um, I thought that was it. Um, in the middle of the fucking woods, dude. Is that the one? Yeah, yeah, I think you might be right. Yeah, and they like burn like a like a a, a sheet that's like shaped like a body. It, yeah, it's like shaped like a dead body or whatever. Fucking, yeah, I think you're right. Fucking weird. Uh, who snuck in there? It was uh, um, what was his name? He's a conspiracy. Oh, um, um, damn, what the hell is his name? Adam? Um, no, um, it starts with an A. Um, shit, I forget his name. Uh, he's like a crazy one too. Ah, oh, God, I, I it's the tip of my tongue. I'm surprised I don't I, I know. Names. Oh god, I talk, I talk about him all the but time. The guy's a fucking he he's snuck, a nut job. He snuck, yeah, he's a nut job, dude. Uh, he snuck in there and fucking took pictures. And I'm surprised they even let him get close. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know how he got in there, but he did and he took pictures and video and like the shit they were doing, like what the fuck? What is that? Like, what are you guys worshiping an owl for? Alex <laughs> Jones. That's who Alex it is. Jones, that's exactly yes. what it was. Yep. So while relatively new in the history of secret societies, the Bilderberg Group gather, gathering of the global elite is believed to be the world's most powerful secret society and has spawned many conspiracy theories. U.S. radio host Alex Jones claimed Google launched the Arab Spring at one of the gal- uh, gatherings. The A-list of corporate, Amer- of corporate America and Europe meet regularly triggering conspiracy theories that the world's wealthiest are bypassing governments to enrich themselves. Politicians are also invited. Britain's uh, Margaret Thatcher, Bill Clinton have attended. Goldman Sachs International Chair Jose Manuel Barros was on the guest list in 2019. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't wouldn't either. Along with former Bank of England Governor Mark Carney. Um, it says they discuss cyber, cyber threats, China, Russia, the ethics of artificial intelligence, and the weaponization of social media. Didn't, they, didn't you say though that they bring in from like all over the world people that are fucking filthy rich? Um, so yeah, like, it's it's it's, it's mostly a U.S. Um, European in, European. Okay, not like that's kind of how the whole thing started. But yeah, they meet up in like California and they they hold these weird rituals and just just weird. And you can't get in like it, it's it's locked down. Like he, this guy had to sneak in. He had some video. That was the only video that was ever taken there. And they showed like it was a, like a shitty quality, too. Well, it was probably mm-hmm. using an apple. <laughs> yes. Like, You're about it. to get another jab. Just a little bit. <laughs> Go a little yeah, bit be mad deeper. at me because he's using a fucking Apple phone while you're trying to take Talk a video. About the clearest photo I'll ever take, and even <laughs> it even edits the photo for you. 
God, that was great. Yeah, it edits yeah. to nothing because there's nothing there. No. <laughs> it's all right. Man, it's I'm right. on my game today. <sighs> Woo! It's all right. <laughs> oh, man. It's good times. Oh, man. I'm not going to help you next time with the HDMI port. <laughs> If I use my screen black, I, I get all the way over there. I drive over a mountain. This fucking guy. <laughs> and it's a fucking I drove unplugged up HDMI hill both ways to school <laughs> when I was young. Exactly. Oh god. What the hell's going on here, Ian? Why'd you lure <laughs> lure me over here? I lured you here to kill you. Why is this soft music on? <laughs> <laughs> Why are the lights down? I can't exactly. see what I'm doing. Just for an HDMI port. <laughs> oh Sorry. man, it's this right. guy. It's all right. It's fucking there's crazy. Weird, there's some weird secret societies fucking, that like they don't uh, really talk about. Walt Disney was in fucking the Freemasons. Yeah. So uh, I want to know: was he asked, or did he just like, yeah, you know, I can walk no. in and do whatever I want. You know well, I mean? well, you got to ask. You you get you can't be asked. You have to ask. You have exactly. To to but ask. I wonder if it's. So how do I ask? Who do I ask? Who do I call? There's a place right down the street from our house by uh, Sunsplash. Oh, the oh, yeah. you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Let's you know, just go we there. Go. We, should, we should go ask. Uh, no, we'll bring cameras and be those dickheads. <laughs> What's going on in the background? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be at the next podcast. We'll be black eyes and fucking broken arms. I just imagined one of those scary movies where we get stuck <laughs> inside at night and there's like a horned goat chasing <laughs> yeah. us. You know what I mean? Excessively loud, like train noises. What? I can just see it all. Trust me, just freak us, the, freak us the fuck out. Oh, man, I can see it. I can see it. I mean, I not saying that shit would happen, but I mean, just I've watched too many movies. <laughs> not, not saying it happened, but I'm just saying it might have happened. Off subject, but man, I was about to turn on the movie Antlers that you guys saw. After I saw the preview, I'm like, yeah, I'm never watching this. I, so Jamie bad. made me go see that in the theater, and it was it bad. Uh... You wanted to like it, but it was bad. It was slow and it was weird. Yeah. And it didn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, no, I saw that from the trailer. I'm you like, know what I mean? Like it just, it never really came together the way that you had hoped it did. Yeah. Okay. I'm you glad watched I uh, Nightmare Alley, right? Fucking right. I did. That was a Dude, great Nightmare Alley fucking was a good movie. movie. That was good. I, it could have been a little bit shorter, but it was, yeah. it was pretty good. I could have watched them. I could watch the movie again, though, knowing what happens and like how I like. Yeah, but that's the cool part. You get through it, and but it's weird because remember how we talked about it a little bit last time that you have to have all those little boring parts to yeah. like for the whole thing to make like it all comes together and makes sense. <laughs> kind of right? like Old Boy. Okay. <laughs> Great movie. Great movie. Don't, don't ever watch that movie, people. <laughs> don't listen to him. You stop. You'll it. never look at Thanos the same. <laughs> <laughs> or the scarlet witch exactly listen exactly. it it's not my fault the way it ended i'm just saying it was a good movie yeah it was good all the way to the end i'm gonna have to agree with you on that one it was good all the way <laughs> to the end there was a little there was a little incest involved in the end and but you it don't know it to the end you don't so. know you're, su- you're you're caught off guard and you're it, like it, i, it I, I want to hate the movie off guard I, I'm, right <laughs> i'm sorry you want to hate it but it was a good movie you want to it's what yeah it's, it's, it's the it's the, the opposite of the, usual the, the thing i like is the guy that took revenge he really went the distance oh man one. what that that my friend is called commitment exactly like, that mean, guy's you, commitment you couldn't have planned it any better. Him. Um, i mean yeah it's crazy. oh man it's completely that, off subject but it's so that, worth talking about <laughs> it's on netflix by the way Oh man, you'll you watch you'll it. thank us and probably unfollow us at the same you, time. <laughs> you you'll be very angry with us at the end, but <laughs> yeah. do the rest of the movie. You'll be like, all right, this isn't bad. <laughs> the fighting scenes kind of suck, but um, it's very yeah. There's no way great. he could take out about thirty seven guys, and he a, does, with, with and he takes out and he takes out thirty seven people at yeah, a time. So never gonna, and then gets stabbed in the back. But you you have to watch the new. Uh, reacher movie on or it's a series but i'm going to on amazon it's really good that guy beats up a lot of people and it's dope but I'm, he's like six five and 300 I'm, pounds so it's I'm, believable <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have to watch that i mean that just watch the first episode true. bro and you'll be hooked i binged the whole thing this week and i couldn't stop watching it i'm gonna probably do the same 
like I stayed up late Saturday because my daughter was here and she was, you know, she didn't want to watch it. So yeah, I had to wait till she went to bed, but it was totally worth it. Fucking right. I'm going to have to watch that. I'm going to have to, <clears throat> but a lot of people for now, like for the Freemasons, though, back on subject is that they call it a metaphor, a metaphor society, not a secret society, just a society with secrets. Right. I understand. They have, just like they anyway. have some, they have some weird ones that you've never heard of. Like the improv, <laughs> the improv benevolent and protective order of elks of the world. <laughs> really? 1907 in Seattle, the Seattle Republican reported on the order of the elks writing that it claimed to be members of uh, members and officers that it is, wait a minute. It is <laughs> these big words are really throwing me off. I have a really good it phonics is, that you can have. <laughs> I mean, it it's from '97. By... <laughs> you think it's the same? It's '97. If you have a VHS, it'll work great. All right, VHS player. <laughs> Do I have? One? I don't think I have one. I don't can know. you give me a DVD version? I can't afford uh, it. I should be able to download it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> It is claimed by members and officers that it is one of the most thriving secret societies among Afro-Americans of the city. I've never heard of it. Me neither. According to the non-profit African-American registry, the Fraternal Order was founded in Cincinnati, Ohio in, 19, in 1899 after two black men were denied admission to the benevolent, benevolent and protective order of the Elks of the world, which is still popular today. Oh, shit. Hmm. I, I've never even heard of that one. I haven't either. Then there's yeah. another one, the Grand Orange Lodge, hmm. known more commonly as the Orange Order, got its name from Prince William the Third, Prince the Prince of Orange, and was founded after the Battle of Diamond outside a small village in modern day Northern Ireland called Lugal. Its purpose was to protect Protestants. And that's why in 1849, the Lord, the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, George William Frederick Villers, captured the, the IRA of Dublin's Waterford News for supporting the society. The paper wrote Lord Clarendon had been holding communication. And with an and annual. <laughs> Sam Swami Swam. Oh, Sam Samsonite. <laughs> Has been holding communications with an illegal society in Dublin for up upwards of 10 days. The Grand Order Lodge, with its secret sign and passwords, have been plotting with its excellency during the whole that the whole of that period, which may seem strange, but it is a fact. Imagine being part of a secret society, dude. We should start like, one. How, see, I would want it to be like the nerd society. <clears throat> Something mean, <laughs> meaningful. Right, we should start one. Like, but, what are they gonna say? No, fuck you. We have no society. The weird thing is, like, we gotta do, do weird those, shit though. How do those well. people not say something? Like, you know what I mean? Like the ones that are in it. Like, if that I that would be my problem, I'd be like, yeah, bitch, I'm part of a secret society. <laughs> Why are we burning a body right now? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and you would think like those people back then, like ones that like fucking betrayed. I want to know what they I want to know what you get. Them out of it like what do you get out of being a freemason like i don't i don't think it's wealth right i mean they, they already have money for the most part i mean i guess it's just a prestige and power thing you want to take pyramid a little scheme world? pyramid scheme. <laughs> just, go right, you gotta you gotta go bring in three of your friends this week or you're <laughs> exactly. out exactly just tell them <laughs> they're they special all, and they all gotta pay a thousand dollars a piece yep. <laughs> and then you get to the next level and then we move you up that's just, funny. That would it's be so weird how they do it. Like, like I don't know. It's really weird to think about. Uh, and if they talked a... about it, or if they even said like a certain word, they came up with a word. The Freemasons of like they came up with it in a group, and they all like bla like bla like I don't know. Said it all out loud. Everyone what they were thinking. And they right. came up with the word. Uh, it's called Maha Bone. Hopefully, I don't get murdered for that but if they if they <laughs> say that i just see two red dots pop up they, on your chest yep <laughs> if if they say that though and they're in the freemasons it's punishable by death i just want to say i don't know tyler i don't know anything about him i don't know what he does and he does this weird shit all the time 
if you're out to get them. Uh, and the better news, Ian's moving to a uh, new location. <laughs> here's his address. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it, it's weird, man. Just to think about it, like, I, back then, I wonder how it was compared to how people think about it today. Like, I want to know what the inner workings are today versus back then. And I want to know what they're hiding, you know, in plain sight now. Because I, I feel like it probably was something significant back then. Like yeah. there probably was very powerful people that had control, you know, but it was before the internet. It was before all these like, things. Did those that, people assassin people, you know what I mean? Were they assassins? Uh, were they right? Fucking, like, you, I mean, who knows? But I feel like they were probably something big then, and now they have been relegated to, you know, just a funny old, conspiracy theory at this point because nobody yeah, wants and to, like it just seems nobody like wants old. to join them, and there's no reason to join them now because. Because the NFT. Well, who knows? Well, who knows? Right. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But like, it's 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 gonna be. It's like a dying. It's a dying breed. They say like, right. Before there's like over three million fucking active Freemasons. Now it's gone down to or a little like on the lower side of two million. So it's going and it's going. But, so, but I wonder if it really is. You know what I mean? Like, is it yeah. really? You know what I mean? Like, are they just saying that so you will leave them alone? Like. <laughs> So they can go like, back taking over the and, world. And what do they promise those people? You know what right. I mean? Right, right. Like, I mean, there has it. to be, there has to be a, there has to be something for them. You know what I mean? I just so badly want to go to one of those, like around here, and just ask them. Right. Like, but there's been get... people that went in and did like documentaries on them and asked them. <laughs> that went in and just never came back out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He said he was going to the Freemason place, and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You Although know, I'm tied up and they're whipping me. <laughs> <laughs> I just see it's like angels versus demons from the movie. Uh, oh, God. Come on, those. But I really want to see that movie again. It's good. Oh, dude. Da Vinci that, Codes are da Vinci so Code. good. So good, they're man. so good movies. One Especially of my favorites. Movies. Yes, for sure. Oh, yeah. But it's just it's weird to think about. George Washington was a Freemason. George Washington, yeah. S- Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Mozart were Freemasons, the world's oldest closed fraternity. Some scholars trace the Freemasons roots to the building of King Solomon's temple in Jerusalem in 967 BC. That's a long time ago. That's a long time ago. The bit with builders as the original stone masons who knew the secret temp who knew the secrets of the temple. Lodges meet four times a year where they worship worship masterful master welcomes new members architectural symbols is incorporated in ceremonies with the supreme being called the great architect of the universe masons pass through three degrees of knowledge called entered apprentice f- uh, fellow craft and master mason yep they wear lamb lambskin aprons at ceremonies to symbolize purity yeah so is it just a secret club set up to help members get ahead in business and society masons prefer to discuss their charitable works complaining they are tired of discrimination hmm. interesting. interesting the one documentary <clears throat> i saw when the people go into like their their mastery they call it their master at it um the ritual that they did they put it on camera for everyone to see in this uh ritual they actually dress up like yeah kind of like in olden times in a way I'd say way back there and uh, pretend to kill the person. That's a mastery. Hmm. <laughs> they bop him on the head and then he falls in a sheet. <laughs> no joke. No joke. I watched it. Uh, they bob him on the head and kill him, pretend to. And then they carry him in this looks like a bed sheet that was used um, and uh, <laughs> carry him away. And that's how they do it. It's weird. It's weird ritual. The skull and bones is another weird one. It's another skull- one that I really haven't heard of. The skull and bone, I've heard of them. I, um, there's actually um, documentaries on these two. So the skull, the order of the skull and bones founded in 1832 at Yale University is one of the most secretive student societies, Mo- more notorious even than seven society, the flat hat club or Bullingdon club, which I've never heard of any of those skull and bones with a HQ known as the tomb initiates 15 people a year. Both George Bush and G.W. Bush were members with fewer than 800 living members at any time. Jeez. New York Observer equipped with night vision video equipment recorded a shocking initiation rite 
in which new recruits were berated with sexual insults. Well, I do that to you all the time. <laughs> we, right? We, we, we're already in, bro. Initiated. <laughs> sexual insults and forced to kneel and kiss a skull at the feet of initiators and watched as other members acted out a, th- a throat-cutting ritual. Others report cite other reports cite ceremonies in which members dress as the devil, a skeleton, and then robes to recite the club's death mantra. The hangman equals death. The devil equals death. Death equals death. Initiation, initiates are told they must die to the barbarian world <clears throat> and be reborn into... What the Elysian. fuck does that mean? <laughs> of the order. I don't know. They're all like 118 years old. And like, imagine like, what they think now, like how we hear it's like, man, that's fucking crazy. Imagine when they were going through it back then when there was no rules. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There was, it was kind of fair game back then on what they were going to do to people. That's why I think like most of them are just, I don't know. Most of them are just symbols now. You know what I mean? Like they're not. Yeah. They, they don't have any real power. I wouldn't think, I would think most of them are just, you know, you're trying to make a name for yourself. Or you just want to be a part of something. Because what, you know, I mean, who knows? Like, with, with in today's world, fucking anything's possible. Yeah, like, we don't exactly know what's happening over in London and, like, on the in the, like, sewers of Rome. Like, and there could be crazy shit with the Freemasons all over and over there. You know, I think about that shit all the time. Like, we talked about it when we went to D.C. Yeah. And, like, every 10 minutes, you'll hear, like, an ambulance or, you know, fire a police go flying fucking by. Fucking a couple of fucking Suburbans with them holding yeah. fucking AR-15s. And- yeah, and then do you, but if you watch the news, you never like hear of any reports of, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, there's a car accident today or there was a murder today. And, but for all the sirens and stuff you hear, you know, 20 times throughout the day, yeah, like where are they? And going? at night, and like in the middle of the night, dude, like you'll hear shit at like three o'clock in the morning, just blaring through downtown, you know, DC. I'm like, what, where are they going? And, is it possible it is like you know it, you know there's they watch, someone like, saving the world right now right exactly yeah you know, i think you know, about that stuff i'm like okay you, well is it like a jason Bourne scenario where you know i want to think it's that way just so right. it's interesting when i do because, look at it i'm like oh they're they totally say, going to save the world right now they say dc has more spies per capita than any place any city in the world at any given time I totally see it so which means there's you know probably thousands of spies in dc right now yeah. Just, you know, minding their own business, doing what they do. You know, you probably walk by 10 of them. You know what I mean? Like just walking oh, just around. Just keep an eye on everyone. You know? Yeah. You, you probably walk by 10 of them just walking around. <clears throat> so interesting to think about, dude. Cause, oh, yeah. You know, we're there. You see, yeah. Like you said, like you see black SUVs just flying down a road. <laughs> crazy shit, man. That goes it's there. Crazy. Like the helicopters that are just flying above those two yep. large green ones that just, they're low hovering fucking they're yeah, checking they just, shit out. They just fly around the the National Mall all day. It's fucking crazy, dude. That's such a cool place to experience. To oh really God, feel history, like yes, to the core of yourself yes. and like where we came from and what. Yeah, you, you have to go to the fucking uh, National Archives. You have to go to fucking the museums there to really yes. get an understanding of like. That's just the National Archives. I'm have, really like, pissed that we didn't go to the Freemasons fucking museum there. We could have. I didn't even know they had one. There's a guy that I saw today. There's a guy that fucking all his job is is to go read and decipher the Freemason symbols around the whole Washington, D.C. Yeah. That's all he does. It's fucking crazy, dude. Well, and there's like, a there's it's a larger conspiracy, but they had there's actually a whole show on it um, about the White House and the way it's built and constructed. Yeah. And they think they call it the four corners. They think that there's a stone in each four of the four corners of the White House that either has like secret information in it, like documents or something, yeah. or has some carvings in it or something. Like no one really, I don't think anybody really knows what's in it, but supposedly there's four stones that are made that are in the White House. Um, I've never heard of that. What the, Brad Metzler did a whole, he did a whole show on it about the, um, Oh god, you got me. There it is. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I want to talk about four yawns. Jesus. <laughs> I've never heard of that story though. Um look four up stuff. look up look up uh, Brad Metzler, dude. I'm telling you. That guy is it a documentary or is it a show? It's it's a, it's a it's yeah, it's like a documentary. Kind okay. of 
these three investigators. There's like a lawyer, a regular investigator, and then like a historian. They all go to look at look at these different things. Like they went to the they look at the Washington Monument. Like there's conspiracy theories with that. There's um, the conspiracy theory of the Denver Airport or yeah. um, the um, Mount Rushmore. They did like a whole show on Mount Rushmore, and they okay. go and interview people that worked on it and stuff like that. Like it's I've really been cool. there. It's pretty fucking awesome to see that. I don't know How if close ever, can you get? It's not well. It seems like you can get closer these days. Like when I went, it's probably about fifteen. It's been over fifteen years. It's probably about eighteen years since I went there. Right. Um, you really need to like use binoculars to see it. Like that's how far it was. Like with binoculars. Really? But now it seems like you can get like right fucking up there, like a couple hundred yards maybe. Um, hmm. Beforehand, it was like a distance, dude. Like you're like, oh shit, they, that's how far away it is, and you'd see it. Um, but it's fucking so well, like the artwork on it is so fucking perfect on how they did it. It's ridiculous, man. Fucking super smooth, and they're also doing the fucking the crazy horse. There, I saw them when right, they right, right. started beginning doing that, getting the arm out, pointing, <sighs> and all that. So that's pretty cool. Thank you. <clears throat> Can you just like stop yawning for like one podcast? <coughs> I cannot. I cannot. Yeah. I mean, I can, but got Mister Coke COVID over there. I feel like you have a real problem every week. I think I, think I, think I, think I got I have, it. I don't think I have COVID anymore. I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Uh, I might have had it the the last episode, or the episode before that. It was pretty bad, but I lived. But I won. Now I'm really interested in just going to one of those places and checking it out. No, I know. I want to go back to DC, man. DC is so cool. Uh, and another trip it's, is it's 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 literally probably one of my. I think it's probably my favorite place to go. It's my favorite place. I'll go there. Like, I like, I like going vacation. to Vegas and stuff, but I'm telling you, man, it's one of my favorite places to go. Yo, There's just so much history and that, like, and it's just a whole different experience from any vacation you ever do. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it, uh, basically, everything's free um yeah the only thing we paid for i think was the spy museum right yeah and i probably would never do it again uh yeah if i wouldn't do that man it was for a little i mean i would probably do it it was cool to do it once but i don't i wouldn't do it yeah but i want to go to the other one you know what i mean there was another one that was had sheets over in the street and they're redoing it um i forgot where it was but oh they didn't they didn't have the air the air museum open either there did they nope it was open it was open when i was there oh was it you went into it yeah uh, we didn't go into it we didn't have time oh but I yeah. saw it was open, but they, yeah, the other spy museum, it, it was a really cool, but it's too childish for the things I like, I don't want to grab this name badge and say I'm someone else. I just want to go look around. Like, right. I want to go yeah. read some shit. They had some cool stuff though, though, like shit they used as far as, you know, yeah. pens that are like video recorders and stuff. Oh like yeah, that. dude. And Imagine the hit. technology that they have now that you don't have any idea about. Like, it's just yeah. insane to think about that's yeah you're, you're and imagine right. what they're gonna have how much and, smaller you know, things are too yeah like they can put cameras on you know in a any fly on a bee yeah like like yeah they made the uh what the, was it dragonfly yeah or they something made a, like that. the cia had a dragonfly that was a fucking um, camera and a fucking recorder that was a camera yeah and would record it and it would just fly a dragonfly around that yeah just only to see what there is today i can only yes. imagine on how far they've come i would love to see the updated stuff Oh yeah, man, it's ridiculous, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we'll have to talk more. Can you knock it off? <laughs> oh, like, you you started it. You started this downhill. You're yawning more than me today. I know, man. Did you work late or something? <laughs> no, actually, I got out on time. I know. <laughs> Jesus, not this guy. I gotta work till eight tonight. I can't do anything. Not today. Not today. You need, to, you need to get rid of that job, bro. It's it's, it's really murdering you. Sorry, man. Stupid job. It kind of, kind of is. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think we have to go back into like uh, a podcast talking about skull and bones because I haven't I've never read anything into the it. Skull and bones you should look into because it's super cool. The story behind it's like really cool. Yeah, and do another and do should, that off do of a, a conspiracy. Fucking. We can do this. We can do a part two of this. Part two of this and add right. some conspiracies. Yeah. I would definitely, definitely like that. What? And da, 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 da. based on us, there's a 
secret societies, I don't know what it is. Secret societies aren't all about nocturnal rituals. The internet based clubs start started appearing in 2012 with the secret Cicada 3301 Society, a group that recruits in with internet based puzzle placed online 4chan with clues dropped on Twitter. The challenges focus on cryptograph crypt, cryptography uh data security uh sten stenography stenography god damn it it's okay <laughs> you, you can send me the word i can the pronounce it samson <laughs> it's all right stenography remember Ian? And internet anonymity count those syllables <laughs> <laughs> what do you hold your hand under your chin and how many times your chin oh, does that's how many... <laughs> it's all right bro it's all right Oh man, I need to. We need to hire some. I have heard. I've never heard so many mispronunciations. <laughs> Listen, I'm reading hard shit. You read fucking where's Waldo and fucking it's Clifford right, a big red dog to go to sleep at night. So yeah. I don't hear about it. It's all right. Oh man, at least I try. You know, there it is again. You almost <laughs> said it. He saved the yawn. Oh, I didn't yawn. God damn, I'm about to though. Yeah. There. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, it's unbelievable. First off. <laughs> How unprofessional. <laughs> can't even get through it without a yawn. Uh, I can't wait till your mic goes out again. Oh, God. <laughs> can't fucking wait. Oh, it's all right. We're going to learn so much about you that day that happens. <laughs> I imagine we would. Oh, God. We're going to learn so much about you. I'll fucking laugh. <laughs> <laughs> On a plus news for gaming side i mean you if you like this shit ian you're gonna really have to fucking get down on a weekend get yourself a playstation 5 buy the assassin creed games it's all about secret societies you gotta fucking right, play right. it yeah you have to play these games they're so good and that and uncharted it's a task that you have to do didn't that movie come out pretty soon it does i think uncharted about next I want, week right? i want to see it but i don't want to see it only because of tom holland's the fucking main actor Really, I really see it because of Tom Holland. <laughs> Not me. I want to see it because of Tom Holland. If you watch, if you played the games, you'd be like, he has nothing to do with this. Did role. Did you watch the Doctor Strange trailer? Of course, I Professor did. Professor X is coming out. Oh, I sent I sent you the trailer to that. Clip yeah, to that's it. gonna be so cool. Xavier, fucking Tom Cruise. Wolverine's supposed to be in it, dude. There's, I, I, I'm really liking the mashup that's going to happen. There's gonna be a big. I think what's gonna happen, and and I can be 100 percent wrong, but. I feel like, you know, because they say that there's like an evil Doctor Strange, but I don't think it's an evil Doctor Strange. What I think is there is, is there is, and this is where, where Professor X comes in. I think there's like a panel or, you know, like a, a group of people who are kind of in charge of the multiverse and when shit starts going south. It's a, it's a secret society. Kind of. And yeah, I think that's who you see talking to Doctor Strange who appears to be Doctor Strange. But he just comes from a different multiverse and he's telling them, like, you know, you're the problem. You're the reason this is all going only on th- or whatever. The only reason I thought there was two is because of Wanda has two in the trailer. Her when well, she's meditating. And then I her. think there's two, but I think it, I don't think it's like an evil Doctor Strange. Well, maybe, maybe I don't know, because they don't give you a lot of context. But also, that. they're going to be throwing us way off. Yeah, well, that's what you know I'm saying. What I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm trying to piece it together before I piece it together. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And I think that. Like, there's not necessarily an evil Doctor Strange, but apparently all the Spider-Mans are supposed to be in it, too. Yeah. So it's so it's going to be interesting to see how all this rolls. I, I mean, actually, that's going to be, gonna be like a seven-hour movie. <laughs> I ain't fucking hope so. And I don't care. I hope it's three hours. Yeah, I, I really hope so. Fucking, I can't Morbius, wait to see. Morbius finally got a date. When they, uh, April? I'm not even going to. No, until it says in theaters now, I'm not going to believe it. It just looks so good. What did I read about Morbius today? I read something about more. Somebody's supposed to be in Morbius, and I forget who it was. I would guess two Venom. people, I think. But um, maybe I don't know. No, it, it wasn't Venom, but there was somebody that they were talking about. He makes a reference to Venom, though, so it's in his world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming he's in, um, he's in Andrew Garfield's world, because that's Venom's in Andrew Garfield's. I believe so. World, yeah. Hmm. I almost made you. Almost made you yawn. No, no, not today. Just, just Sorry. Not yawning. You know, it's just quiet. <laughs> just yawn. Not today, Junior. <laughs> but it's gonna be. It's gonna be fucking awesome for that movie to fucking come out. It comes out this summer, right? Doctor Strange. 
Um, yeah, it's this summer. It's May, like, I think. May 22nd, I think. Yeah, that's going to be a big day. Totally seeing that. Did you see the meme I posted? It said, uh, no show will compare to the 2012 Super Bowl show, and it's Bane when he's in the soccer stadium. I did see that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Talk about the oh, new fucking Batman coming out, dude. Oh, man, it's coming out March 4th. Dude, about it's like, it's weeks. coming out soon, man. That one, that movie, I'm actually pretty excited to see. I think that fucking Robert Pattinson. Um, I am too, but man, I am. I don't know, dude. I'm I'm sketched out about homeboy playing them. Like I don't know. But you weren't sketched out about pregnant zombies. Uh, no, that made perfect sense to me actually. Yeah, you <laughs> <of a bitch. laughs> but 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 Robert Pattinson playing. Uh, I Batman, think he's gonna do a so, fucking great job, dude. He might. He might. He might. I hope it's good. Like I, I'm not bashing it because I hope it's good. I hope he does a really, really good job. Yeah. I just I question the possibility of that happening. And you know what I see already is that it's very CGI and there's a lot of shit going on in like every scene. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's super dark. I don't know why Batman movies I are like that so it's dark. I like that it is. They're dark and like not not just like you know the plot and everything, but like I know, the like filming. the scenes. The, yeah. Everything is dark. It's because he's supposed to be not seen in the dark. And like Justice League was kind of that way. Yeah. You know, you don't see that on Marvel movies. They're like they're typically, you know, very colorful, light and bright. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're colorful, light and bright. Not as, I wouldn't say not as serious because they're supposed, you know, obviously they're all movies, but yeah. They're supposed to be, you know, serious. But it's like, I don't know. There's, there's more, there's more joking in it. There's more laughing in it. Like, and, and like Avengers and Endgame and stuff like that. And then the DC movies are just more serious. They're just more, yeah, they're more like, you know. Did you ever see Brightburn? Serious. Did you ever see Brightburn? I did not. Man, dude, you're missing so many good movies, dude. Um, you and I've, Jamie. I've, I've, I've wanted to watch that movie. I just never, I don't know. Every time I go to watch it, I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be a good movie or not. Oh, it's a really good movie. I'm totally watching it. Um, I've been. I've wanted to watch it. I might. I might have to watch it. I'm telling you, you're gonna. As soon as you watch it, you can tell Jamie watch this fucking movie. Jamie Damn. watched it. He's the one to tell you. He watched it and. Uh, oh, did he? Yeah, hmm. he told me about it. He's like, dude, you gotta watch this movie. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. He's like, it's really good. It's really fucking good. Dark, dark, dark. They're on, they're, they're on some horror movie kick. So ah, uh, yeah, they they watch the Explorer. The support Myers. <laughs> Uh, they're working their way up to Scooby Doo too, the yeah. Temptation Island or whatever it was. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Other than that, new uh, new Switch it's news. It's a great and, movie. Uh, I'm a huge Nintendo player, so Nintendo Switch. Did you ever remember when Wii Bowling came out, Ian? Uh huh. That shit was the best. Yes. Yeah, they're coming out with a new Wii. Uh, it's called a Nintendo Switch Sports. Has all the originals, but updated for the bowling. And tennis, baseball, golf, and it has now there's volleyball, badminton, and soccer. And it's now you can play that online against people. Really? I'm going to whoop your ass at that <laughs> so bad. I was watching my the, nieces over this weekend and I was watching her play. Uh, she was playing that golf VR that we play. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> it was so funny to watch. Was she doing good or no? <laughs> no, it was no, funny. Horrible, it was, horrible. Know, yeah, it's like 11. It's, you know. Yeah. She was, didn't she start playing putt putt? She did pretty good in putt putt though. Nice. Um, other than that, that game, that game's so good. You're gonna have to get Nintendo Switch Sports. It comes up in April, April 29th. So, oh, yeah. definitely, definitely look forward to that one. I can always get you to be on. <laughs> um, also, big news, which I'm a huge fan of, No Man's Sky. It's probably one of my favorite games ever made. I've, I've played um, that with you. Yeah, it's coming to the Switch. They said it could never be done, but now it is. It's going to be here this summer. They didn't give it a oh, date, really? but it's just going to be released. It's going to be because of it's. there's no yeah, there's no release date. It'll just be sometime in the summer. That game is going to be so fucking good. On Why would it never Switch come to the Switch? Because of how big that game actually is. Oh. Like There's trillions and trillions of planets, solar systems you can go to so like the size of it to run off the processor of the nintendo switch would be really so hard. they probably have to scale it down They'll i'm, scale it I'm down guessing they did but the new nintendo switch oled could probably keep up a little bit but not not any any measure towards a computer right um, that probably a scale down gotta get that have, game dude they probably have ten thousand. wait i have it you want them on this on the switch oh yeah the switch would be fun man we try to play it twice and every time it freezes up and I need you to come plug my HDMI in. 
Well, no, it was when we we played together. No, like I remember. Was, my yeah. guy would freeze up on the screen, and it's probably the updates. But uh, other than that, the Nintendo I updated Switch. everything I got this weekend, so I'm gonna get on some Switch. Some uh, I'm gonna get Oculus on Onward. tonight. Uh, I updated that. I updated Standout. I updated everything that I've plugged mine in, but I haven't to. turned it on to update it. I need to update it. But I, uh, we definitely need to fucking Nintendo Switch Sports, dude. I'm a huge fan of it, so I'm, I really can't wait. And it's only 39 bucks instead of $60 on how all the games are usually 60 bucks. Yeah. So, when did it come out? Uh, April 28th or 29th. Oh, I'm down. Yeah. Get it. Man, is that number 12? Listen, I don't know. I gave up. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do the it. Rest of the, the rest of the podcast is just us yawning. Fuck it. It's, it's all right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, we'll just constantly try to talk while we're yawning, so people get really annoyed of trying to figure out just, what we're saying. Just, just talk through it. Like <laughs> I still have yet to not forget about fucking Dungeons and Dragons. I want to learn it and I want to fucking play it. I listen to the podcast all the time. Not another, not another Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Right? Fucking awesome, dude. I totally love to get into that, even if it's online. I need to try it. I need to do it. Uh, I need a need character. To. I need to get into that. I do. I, I went to the flea market trying to see if that chick was there that had the Dungeons and Dragons games. And yeah, she, I don't know. I'm always there too early or something. I don't know. Yeah, like half we the usually places are. aren't open yet. I think we should start getting there on the weekends <laughs> around ten thirty. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like people get there at like eleven, twelve. Yep. I say we do that. We need to. But other than that, I said that'd be wrap it up for the Secret Society podcast. It's a fun is one. That, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> more or less ian featured with ian yawning the entire time <laughs> this guy but uh you guys have a great night and uh i think next week or the end of this week we'll have another podcast maybe part two of secret societies with some conspiracies yeah so i think we should i think we should do that and uh possible jack Re- or the reacher um oh god you gotta watch I'm, oh I'm, my god i'll watch that oh, good yeah i'll watch that you will finish that this week it's so good that you will finish it this I week. probably will, we'll but I'm so there's stuck, eight, there's, I'm stuck there's in eight Ozarks. episodes. I know, Ozark's so good, too. Ozark's really good, and I'm at a point What where season are you on? I don't even know. I just hit play. <laughs> I'm just following. I don't even know what season I'm on. I'm on whatever season they tell me to be on. Exactly. <laughs> no, probably I'll let Netflix that. decide. Exactly. There's a if lot I of good have, movies coming out I on have Netflix. I start it over. Oh, yeah, dude. They're, they're, like, every week, supposedly, they're supposed to be releasing a new movie. And I'm, some of them look, like, really good. Yeah, no, I'm gonna agree on that. Oh, I think Maverick comes out finally in May. Does it? May May twentieth, fourth, twenty second, something like that. I saw oh. there was a commercial during the Super Bowl. Yeah, I saw that. That uh for Be and fun. that new oh. uh Jurassic World movie. Oh man, talk it looks about so good. I'm so excited for that. I can't um, wait for that. The intro to that on how the dinosaurs are running through the snow, dude. Yeah. It's like a western, and they're chasing him. On yeah, horses. and he's like on a horse, and he's chasing him down. And oh man, so fucking badass! And how they the doctors, that? the doctors in it, and the chicks in it from the originals. Professor Alan Grant and yep, uh, yep. And what's your name? Jeff Goldblum and yep, he's in it. He's in all of them. He's he's oh. great. I love him, dude. So it's gonna be a good fucking movie, man. I think this is the way i wanted to see it so and that'll be and that'll be the last that's it the rap, this is it this is the last one that's a, that's a wrap so that's it other than that you guys have a great night check us out on youtube for our live channels that we i mean all well, the channels that we're posting now also uh twitch whenever ian's gonna get on um you gotta let me know i get on uh, randomly for nintendo and some racing on the nerd informer but we're gonna get ian up, get, I, up to I date. Get my wheel i need to get my wheel out so i can start racing again yeah we're gonna definitely do that so we keep saying that but uh check out the nerd informer on twitch you usually catch me streaming on the weekdays right around eight o'clock so you guys have a great night later see ya